Hi, I'm Ashia. I'm the marketing manager for Electronic Frontier Limited, a value-added distributor of converged IP solutions specialized in unified communications, networking, and connectivity solutions. All our contact details can be found in the description below the video. Today, I have the pleasure of reviewing and unboxing the exciting Yalink BH72, which has been kindly offered to us by Yalink. All views are my own. So without further ado, let's dive in and have a look. So we've got the box right here with the picture of the BH72 in the front with some information next to it, some information on the side, and the Yalink Connect app information on the back. The Yalink BH72 offers a maximum of 40 hours of charge 35 hours of talk time and supports fast charging with the cable and with just five minutes of charging you can get four hours of music and three hours of talk time. So let's delve right into the box and see what we've got here. So upon opening the box you can see the quick start guide here which we will put aside We've got the Qi charging wireless stand, which feels very sturdy, feels very nice, and we put it to the side. The, the pouch, which contains the BH72 itself inside. The charging cable, as well as the adapter for the, for the wireless charger. So let's put the box to the side and have a look at the device itself. So opening, we've got the Yaling BH72, a small foam, and the Bluetooth dongle. So with this Bluetooth dongle, you can actually connect this device to computers or phones that doesn't support Bluetooth, which is very handy, however, um, connecting either to my cell phone or my T58W Pro. Today we won't be needing that. Uh, the device itself feels very sturdy. It's well made with um, protein leather ear cushions. Um, we've got the um, wireless charging on this side, the Yaling branding on this side, and the and the famous retractable microphone boom here. Um, I would have to say that I quite like the R and L engraving on these. It's quite easy to see um, which sort of cup has to go in which ear, and you've got the metal extension here. So let's review the Yaling BH72 and the charging stand in a bit more detail. The charging stand is a standard Qi charger which allows you to charge any device that support wireless charging, such as a mobile phone. Um, to charge the Yaling BA72, all you need to do is to just put the, the side with the charging sign onto the charging pad in this manner and it will start charging. What Yaling has done, which is quite nice actually, is to put a hook above the Qi charging pad so you can put your headphone there whilst not in use, and then you can use the charging pad to charge any other device, for instance, your phone, in this manner. Um, again, as I've said previously, the charger itself um, is very high quality. You've got sort of velvet touching material on the Qi charger, and inside you've got um, sort of an acrylic on top with a metal support, so it wouldn't sort of uh, get damaged with prolonged usage. Um, and you've got sort of metal material um, as the, sort of the cradle that will protect the headset from accidentally being knocked over whilst on charge. Um, so let's put the charging um, stand aside and talk about the Bluetooth headset itself. Um, as I've said, the Bluetooth headset is, um, is very robust in build. As you can see, it doesn't like to break at all, um, whilst being very flexible and very um, comfortable actually, um, given the padded um, cushion at the bottom and how um, it can actually 
sort of conform to your head shape, as we've mentioned in a previous webinar on Yaling headsets. Yaling does extensive research in different head shapes. Um, the, the headset itself can change in size um, like so, which I really like because um, some headsets do have um, presets where you go sort of like this, where, you know, for Yaling, it's just a fluid motion. You've got five buttons on one side. You've got the mute button here. You've got the power on, power off, or if you um, press it for, I believe, five seconds, it will go into pairing mode. You've got the volume up and down, and you've got the UC button on the left ear cup. Um, so now we're going to look into connecting the BH72 to my Yaling T58W Pro here. And following that, I will go through the Yaling Connect app. In order to pair your Yaling BH72 to any device that has Bluetooth, all you need to do is put your BH72 in pairing mode, which is holding the power button for about five seconds, as I will do now. Go into your Bluetooth settings, and you've got the BH72 there. And voila, you've now paired your BH72 with your Yaling phone. Um, it is the same with other phones that does not have Android um, operating system, but have a Bluetooth system embedded into them, you just go into the Bluetooth setting and put your BH72 in pairing mode, search for Bluetooth devices and connect to the Yaling BH72. And now I'm going to show you the Yaling Connect app. So let's have a look at the app. As you can see, I've already downloaded the app from App Store. This app is also available on Google Play Store. All you need to do is just to search for Yaling Connect and download it from there. Uh, so let's press on it. As you can see, because my device is not connected to my phone here, it just says not connected to your headset. So all you need to do is to put your headset into pairing mode, go into Bluetooth settings, and as you can see, the Yaling BH72 is already there. All you need to do is press, and it should connect momentarily. There we go, it is connected. And let's go back in the Yaling Connect app, which should recognize the device shortly. Cool, so as you can see, it has now recognized the device. So within the first screen, which is called Moments, you've got three tabs where it is sort of different music equalizers as you can save again you can customize it with some different presets here as well we'll just keep it a default for the time being um, you can you have the options of putting yourself on do not disturb during calls and then manually go on do not disturb or turn it off on the second tab on the headset settings um, you've got the headset information tab with all the information you've got the connection management here it is not connected to my SIP phone it is not connected to the uh, BT50 that's the small dongle within the pouch but it is connected to my cell phone you've got the headset settings here which you could see it's got a status tone setting as well which we will cover shortly um, you can reset it here, and you can also do a wireless firmware update, making this a true wireless headset. Um, it is now up to date, however, um, if it's not, you could update it through the app from here. You also have a Find My Headset, which I will not do because the, the sound is not pleasant, but it will play a loud sound through the earphones um, so you can find your headset should you misplace it. Um, you've got a um, digital version of the quick start guide and the frequently asked questions. And then finally, you've got the about section with the support feedback 
software version and the admin privacy policy. So now that we've looked through the A-Link um, Connect app, um, I just wanted to um, talk a, lot, a, a bit more about um, the headset itself and some of my first impressions. Yeah, let's delve into some more information about the A-Link VH72. Um, in the Yelling Connect app, I brushed on the um, the fact that the Yelling has some voice feedback, which I quite like. Um, so when you turn the device on or you turn the device off, it announces itself within the ear cups, which really saves a lot of hassle having to look for the green or uh, red light. Um, when you turn it on, it also announces the battery. So, for instance, at the moment where I've got about 98, 99% battery, it sort of, I believe, it does it in 10% increments. So it says, uh, you know, powered on, 90% battery remaining, uh, which is rather nice. So you know how much battery have you got left. Um, so you know it's got about 40 hours of music time. So you know about sort of 90%, even 90%, you'd uh, you'd know roughly um, it's about 36 hours of music time um, which I um, which I quite like and um, again when it goes into pairing mode it sort of announce uh, you know you know pairing mode when it's paired it said paired when it disconnects from a device it says you know for instance mobile disconnected or PC disconnected um, so one of the other things that I uh, really like is the Pull to answer feature or sort of push back in to mute a, um, a call. Um, so I'll um, demonstrate this for you guys now. So I'll put my headphone in. Um, so I'm just going to remove myself from Do Not Disturb and uh, call my phone through my cell phone. And now I have um, connected um, the phone call through this um, through this microphone. And then to mute the call, I just go up. Um, let me hang up the call, um, which is uh, which is quite handy because then uh, you know if you've got your headset on, you've got a bunch of things on your desk. You don't need to press a button on your phone or do anything or even locate the uh, the answer button on the headset which on many other headsets you have to um, and especially in today's world with a lot of buttons on headset it, it can be uh, somewhat sort of difficult rather than just you know knowing where the microphone boon is and um, pulling it out and it becomes sort of a second nature um, after a while uh, I also really like the sort of pull in to, to mute, you know, when you're talking on the phone and you need to, you know, check something with a colleague or you need to sort of have another conversation rather than sort of trying to pull it up or, you know, cover the microphone not to disturb the person on the call. You just pull it back in and then push it back out. It also sort of, you know, um, whether you're muted or not. So I, I really like these two um, functions on on the BH-72. So, let's talk about the Yaling BH-72 audio quality. Yaling BH-72 offers quite a lot when it comes to audio. Yaling has partnered with Olay Wolf, a leading acoustic component provider, to do the diaphragm on the BH-72. In addition to that, the BH-72 also offers acoustic shield which we have covered in our previous webinar for Yaling headsets. But in short, it shields you from outside noise and offers passive noise reduction. In the next section of the video, I will be adding the microphone on the BH-72 compared to the professional Rode microphone that I've got. What you're hearing now is my voice through the Rode Professional microphone that I've been using throughout this video to record my voice. And shortly you will hear me um, using the BH-72 embedded microphone. And now you're hearing me through the microphones on my BH-72 connected to my system. 
and you can now compare and contrast the difference between the microphone embedded in the Yealing UH3H72 compared to a professional Rode microphone. Thank you very much for watching our video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have any questions or queries about any ALIC product, in particular the BH72, please contact us using the details in the description of this video. Thank you.